Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, and lesson 16 is going to be the duty of the banking systems engineer, some poetry, and the rich man song. Okay, the oath of the engineer. This is the ballad of the banking systems engineer to set you straight on banking matters that are not too clear. I am an engineer with information that is new of planetary ruin and the how of what to do. There is a special duty in the oath to engineer to fix the problems in the systems that we hold so dear. Since life and death results from work that we are trained to do, our duty is protection of our little planet blue. We take an oath when we receive our simple iron ring and know from where the duty of the engineer does spring. It strikes me odd that in this age of scientific note, that mankind stumbles on and on like carrot-leading goat, with planetary dangers threatening our biosphere. If you can learn just what is wrong, your knowledge you'll hold dear. If I can show you how to fix this planetary threat, the duty of the citizens to learn and not forget. The flaw in the banking system. The banking system is the brain of our economy, which regulates our enterprise responsibility. What's slowing down our enterprise is feedback on our debt. World debt is what's preventing when to working we should get. In the banking system, there's a flaw that's got to go. There's feedback that is positive that forces debts to grow. The flaw is in the software. While the hardware is working right, it makes debts exponential with a limit out of sight. And as the debt increases, bankers move in on their prey. They close down our capacity, and it is only they, the one destroyer industry that kills a source of wealth, the only industry that is a peril to our health. Just look around and you will see the debts that burden all, the debts of brothers, sisters, parents, plagued by debts we fall. Our nations, towns, and provinces are burdened all to tears by an exponential function overlooked by engineers bankers to blame. So to this software package of accounting has been let the force to cripple enterprise with exponential debt. By this accounting package they have seized the right to rule. This software package has become a so oppressive tool. Our bankers, lawyers, judges, bailiffs, the financial crew collecting on our effort for the benefit of few. The bankers and the justice system are the ones to blame for they have got us by the throats in their insidious game. The government's all borrowing to pay the interest and hoping there'll be crumbs left over to quell the unrest. With millions idled by the debt while breakdowns overwhelm, the lack of money goes right on with no one at the helm. The measures of the World Bank and the IMF as well are seen to cause much misery, a documented hell. The private will of bankers rules in towns of every nation. This power is too great for few, this power of starvation. A nation's commerce cut in half is really not a joke. Whole nations suffer constantly under their cruel yoke. Those measures of austerity cause strikes and riots new. The moments of tranquility are far between and few. And that's when violence is used in putting down their need. And yet men still do risk it all, their lives at stake indeed. When starving people do rise up, some end up dead perhaps, responsibility for which must rest in bankers' laps. Science. But scientists have now in hand the winning way to see the mathematical road to infallibility. We find in theory of games the stats of wins to come, in whose dominion lies the key, the word is optimum. No man, no god can but expect the optimum result. To let the science work for us will make us soon exult. It tells us what to do that's best when we can't be too sure. A perfect way to test things out, a way that's clean and pure. Can banking system of the world be programmed instantly to switch to maximum employment voluntarily? Can program disks be switched to alter faulty program code? Of course they can. It's just a little bit of system mode. 
Some planetary cures can be delivered at top speed. The program problems in the software and correctable indeed. It's slowing down capacity while danger looms ahead. Reprogramming is critical or else we'll all be dead. The lack of money is the reason used for the delay. Sufficient funds cannot be found to save us right today. The problem's getting worse and worse. We must take action fast. If they slow down our life support, our planet will not last. I call this the rich man's song or the debt master's song. I wrote most of my poetry to the tune of Gilligan's Island in my head. So I'll start the first verses with Gilligan's Island. <laughs> because I have a million bucks, I sit upon my stern and leave my living tranquilly for other folks to earn. For in some procreative way that isn't very clear, a million bucks breeds hundred thousand babies every year. So as I have a healthy hate of economic strife, I mean to stand aloof from it, the balance of my life. And yet with sympathy I see the grimy son of toil, and heartily congratulate the tiller of the soil. I like the miner in the mine, the sailor on the sea, because up to a hundred grand they sail and mine for me. For me their toil is taxed unto the annual extent, According to the banker's law, that gets me 10%. Okay, switch songs now. Well, the Coca-Cola song fits well. So get yourself a million bucks in any way you can. And lose it. leave your future welfare to the noble working man. He'll buy you suits of Harris Tweed and Airedale and a car. Your golf clubs and your morning times, your whiskey and cigar. He'll cozily install you in a cottage by a stream. With every modern comfort and a garden that's a dream. Or if your taste be urban, he'll provide you with a flat. Secluded from the clamor of the proletariat. With pictures, music, easy chairs, a table of good cheer. A guy can manage nicely on a hundred grand a year. And though around you painful signs of industry you view, why should you work when you can have your money work for you? And we'll try the last three on Oh Susanna. So, oh, so, so I'll get down upon my knees and bless the working man who offers me a life of ease through all my mortal span, whose loins are lean to make me fat, who slaves to keep me free, who dies before his prime to get me round a century. Hallelujah, he slaves to keep me free. The blessed working man helps get me round the century. Whose wife and children toil is turn until their strength is spent. That I may live in idleness upon my ten percent. And if at times they curse me, why should I feel any blame? For in my place I know that they would do the very same. Hallelujah. I receive no blame. Mortgage death gamble forces all to do the very same. Oh, they'll talk of revolution on a Sunday afternoon. But offer them a million bucks and see them change their tune. So I'll enjoy my dividends and live my life with zest. And bless the mighty men who first invented interest. Hallelujah, with usury I'm blessed, while debt slaves curse the men who first invented interest.